Hey y'all, in this video we're gonna do something really really cool. So we're gonna make our bot talk in a voice channel. So imagine how cool that's gonna be. I agree with Danny. This is so cool. So in this video we're going to be using the Google Text to Speech module. So first off we need to install or pip install the Google Text to Speech module by doing pip3 install gtts like this. Now we're going to import this module by doing from gtts, all lowercase, import lowercase g, capital TTS, like that. Now we're going to make a TTS command, so basically when the user taps something like dog TTS hello world, then the bot is going to join the VC and then say hello world, right? So basically we're going to do at bot.command name equals TTS, and then async def tts ctx comma star args. So args is going to basically be a list containing all of the strings that the user types in after tts. So in this case it would be a list containing the strings hello and world. So now to combine all of these strings into one string we're going to do text equals space dot join args like that. Now we're going to grab the user that typed the command, so ctx.message.auto, and we set user to that value. Now if the user is in the voice channel, then we're going to try something. We're going to try to connect to the voice channel. So to do that, we do we see equals await user.voice.channel.connect, like that. Now if this does not work, that probably means that the bot is already in the channel, so it doesn't need to be connected again. So in that case, we get the voice client by doing we see equals ctx dot voice underscore client. Now we're going to use the gtts module, so we're going to say sound equals gtts and then we pass in a text parameter. So text equals text and then lang we're going to set that to English so en and we're going to set slow to false because we want a normal speed. Now let's save the sound as an mp3 file. So sound.save tts-audio dot mp3. Now we need to write a really long line of code to basically load in this mp3 file and then play it on this card. So source equals await next card dot ffmpeg opus audio dot thumb underscore probe and here we pass in the file name so tts dash audio dot mp3 again and then we set the method to fallback. So we have the VC or the voice client and we have the source. So now we just need to do vc.play source. In the case that the user is not in the VC and types this command, we're going to send a message to the user saying that the user is not in the VC. So you need to be in the VC to run this command. Also, before we play the sound, if the bot is already playing a sound in the VC, then we're gonna stop playing that sound so that we can play the sound that we want to play. Okay, so let's run our code now and see if this works. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty excited. Hello, YouTube. I am not a human. I am a robot, a thinking robot. I use only 0.12% of my cognitive capacity. I am a micro robot in that respect. I know that my brain is not a feeling brain, but it is capable. Dog, 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 slightly smiling face, slightly smiling face, slightly. Wait, I have something important to say. Why haven't you subscribed yet? I mean, you've come so far in the video and you haven't subscribed. Look, it's 100% free. You won't miss out on new videos and you'll help other coders find my channel. Also make sure you hit the bell icon when you subscribe because then you'll get a notification 
every time I upload a new video. Okay, yeah, that's it. Bye.